guys, it's Sav here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make beef chow fun, or what us Cambodians know this dish as, miketang. It is a really popular noodle dish. It's very easy to make. I simplified the recipe to where you just make the sauce separately and then prepare the rest of your ingredients and then just stir fry and you're pretty much good to go. Keep watching and I'll show you guys all the things that you'll need. I have here about eight ounces of sliced tri-tip, not exactly paper thin, but about a quarter inch thick or so. Here is my chow fun sauce. To get that list of ingredients, please check out my blog. I have here about four cloves of chopped garlic, three scallions that I've cut about one and a half inch long, and half of a sliced onion. And one small bunch of Chinese broccoli. I always cut off the leaves first and then I cut the stems kind of at a diagonal just like this. Here I have two pounds of fresh rice noodles. If you can't find fresh rice noodles, obviously you can go ahead and use a dry package and just follow the directions based on that one. These do break up a bit more during the frying up process, but that doesn't bother me because I just prefer the taste and texture of the fresh ones. To my beef, I'm going to add in about three tablespoons of my pre-made chow fun sauce. Also, when I'm cooking the beef, I will be adding a bit more flavoring to it, like a little bit of oyster sauce and a little bit of fish sauce to taste. And now I'm going to add in a little bit of cornstarch, about a teaspoon. I'm just going to mix all this up together with my hands and then set this aside. Into a hot skillet, I'm adding in a little bit of water, and then in goes my Chinese broccoli. I prefer to steam my veggies as opposed to frying it. Now I'm going to add in a bit of black pepper, and a nice pinch of salt. I'm going to give all of this a nice little stir, and then I'm going to cover, turn the heat down to medium, and allow my veggies to steam for about 5 minutes. All right, it's been about five minutes. I'm going to remove the lid and check on my veggies. I'm going to give all of this one last stir, and then I'm going to take the Chinese broccoli, place into a colander to remove any excess liquid, and just set this aside. Into a hot skillet, I added in some oil. In goes my sliced beef. Now this is going to need a bit more flavoring, so I'm going to add a little bit of oyster sauce and also a little bit of fish sauce. And I'm also going to add a little bit of garlic powder since I'm not using any actual garlic with the beef. And just stir fry until no longer pink and then set this aside. Into my hot skillet, I'm going to add in two heaping tablespoons of oil. In goes all of my chopped garlic. I'm going to fry this until fragrant and almost browned. I threw in all of my noodles and added in about half of my chow fun sauce and now I'm just stir frying this all on high heat. And I'm going to go ahead and just add the rest of it. This sauce will cover two pounds of rice noodles. If you want, you can start off with half and then add the rest later depending on taste. Now I'm adding in all of my onions. I like the onions to taste kind of crisp and not overly cooked in my chow fun, so I add it in while I'm stir frying the noodles. And just stir fry it until all the noodles have coated in all that sauce. And finally, in goes my cooked Chinese broccoli and also my tri-tip. Mix it until everything's combined. Alright, it's looking pretty good. Turn off the heat and serve immediately. Oh yeah, my favorite part. It's time to eat. Put a little bit of my sriracha, or a lot. Oh man. Mmm. Beef. Chinese broccoli. Oh man, there is no need to go out and buy this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.